a mysterious black goo has been found by Egyptologists, with them saying that it was used to cover mummies. Several mummies and artifacts were covered in this black goo, and after tests were carried out, researchers said they were able to trace it back to the 19th and 22nd dynasty. One mummy was found to be covered in this substance, with the archaeologists saying that the individual was a priest to the sun god Amun, and said that he passed away almost 3,000 years ago. After this, he was placed into a large wooden coffin, and had the black goo poured over him. Archaeologists had noticed that this substance was used on various mummies and also artifacts, and so they decided to conduct a variety of tests to find out more about it. The British Museum was able to find out more about this substance, and what its exact purpose was. It's reported that researchers in the area were able to collect over a hundred samples of this black goo, saying that some of these samples were vaporised in a process called gas chromatography. After this, they were placed through a tube, which helped separate the molecules. Dr. Kate Fulcher, research assistant in the museum's Department of Scientific Research, said the following about the experiment. We discovered that the goo is made of a combination of plant oil, animal fats, tree resin, beeswax and bitumen, which is a solid crude oil. The exact ingredients vary from one coffin to the next, but the goo was always made from some of these." End quote. Interestingly, she also said that there were other ingredients inside the black goo that they were unable to detect, saying that they were likely degraded to the point that they could no longer be picked up on. Archaeologists said this goo had been found in wooden figurines, large boxes that help bond them, and also coffins. Even Tutankhamun's tomb contained figurines that were covered in the black goo, but researchers said that as of right now these have not been analysed. One of the reasons this substance was created the way it was, is because the ancient Egyptians thought the colour black symbolises rebirth. Dr Kate Fulcher continued with the following. Osiris was called the black one in various texts, and is often depicted with black skin and in the guise of a mummified body. Black is also the colour associated with the silt deposits on the bank of the River Nile, and this was after the annual flood receded. It could therefore be reason that the practice of coating coffins in black goo links the coffins to regeneration associated with Osiris. End quote. The archaeologists also noticed that the black goo helped to bond the coffins together, and one idea was that this was to stop robbers from being able to steal from the coffins. The researchers also said this substance wasn't plentiful, and only the elite of ancient Egypt and a few others would have been able to have access to it. Large amounts of it was found in King Tut's tomb, with scientists saying some of it went missing, and some of it was cleaned off when the artefacts were first found. The black goo has also been found in coffins from the Third Intermediate Period, but Dr. Fulcher said that further excavations could reveal this goo was being used in different periods. A recent discovery made in Sedan also showed that the goo was present in this region, and this was because it was under Egyptian control. Not only does this show that there were elite members living in this region, but it's also direct evidence that the ancient Egyptians had established a trade route with them. Archaeologists have known for some time now that the ancient Egyptians were advanced in many ways, and one discovery that proved this was that of a 3,000-year-old wooden toe prosthetic. In a graveyard hill west of Luxor, Egypt, a one-of-a-kind discovery was made when researchers found a 3,000-year-old prosthetic that belonged to a female mummy. It dates back to the early Iron Age, or more than 2,600 years ago. Scientists are astounded by the design and accuracy of the wooden prosthetic toe, considering that modern medical technologies such as X-ray and computer imaging weren't available during this time. This discovery further proves the high intellectual capabilities of ancient Egyptians, and shows us that injuries such as losing a toe were attended to. Scientists from the University of Manchester led by Dr Jackie Finch have studied the ancient toe prosthesis and found that outside from wood, it also has leather materials and a hinge. 
A belt strap affixes the device to the foot, causing little to no discomfort to the wearer. The artistry of the design is highly evident with the aesthetic of the prosthesis, that it even features a carved out toenail. Dr. Finch built highly accurate replicas. He invited two volunteers to test whether the prosthetic toe had indeed helped their own improve the quality of their life. According to the volunteers, they didn't have any trouble walking, and it looks natural especially when worn with Egyptian sandals. Based on how this handmade device fits the wearer, researchers determined that the wooden toe had been refitted and adjusted several times over the wearer's life to make sure that it looks and feels as comfortable and as natural as possible. The wearer of the wooden prosthesis is known to be a wealthy daughter of a priest. Researchers believe that she may have lost her toe due to complications with diabetes. The mummy was located in an older burial chapel, a place that is known to have been home for upper class people, with ties to the reigning royal family. The wearer's social status and wealth have afforded her one of the best ancient medical technologies ever discovered. The invention and exploration of prosthesis in medicine did not happen until the Dark Ages, when tradesmen started to sell artificial limbs to knights who would lose body parts during combat. These discoveries have shown us some of the wonders of the ancient Egyptian world, and that even to this day, scientists are still finding astounding artifacts that prove how advanced their way of life was, even in the absence of modern technology. This also teaches the world that one thing our civilization has in common with early Egyptians is our desire to overcome hardships. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.